Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekly read for the sign of Aries. This is a general reading. We're going to get right into it. That's a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And you know what to do with love. Shows up, reverse roles as needed, okay? Your overall energy for this week is the hangman, Piscean energy, okay? Somebody may be in prayer about something or just really spending some alone time, okay? Having some alone time, all right? The Aries Collective. What's going on with the Aries? Those that have subscribed to our channel, those who like our videos and share our videos, those that are divinely guided to um, our channel. What is going on with those Aries? What's going on with those Aries? This is for August the 22nd through the 26th. Thank you. New love coming in, huh? With the page of wands. 2002, August 22nd to 26th, 2002-22, but whenever you guys are running across this video is when you're supposed to get the message, okay? We got Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. What is going on with the Aries Collective this week? I knew I was going to see that again. I saw that in the shuffle. So you're feeling bound. Like you like you don't like. Oh. We got the Page of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Chariot. And the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's what I was getting. So you're praying for a new love. And it's going to show up. But you're, you look like you are stuck in some energy of some sort to where you may miss it. And the cherry, that cancer energy, talks about moving. Let's see what's going on. Page of Wands. Why is this here? Why is the Page of Wands here? For the Aries Collective. Why is the Page of Wands here for the Aries Collective? What's going on with the Aries? During that pre-shuffle, it was feeling kind of rough. Okay. Okay, this person is going to stand in their power and they're going to come in. They're going to come in and um, offer and make a love offer to you, Aries. Now, this is someone that you do not know, okay? They're going to stand in their power. There could be a Leo coming to give you a love message, okay? Let you know that they're interested. Wow. What's up? Oh my. Could be somebody from the past with the Six of Cups showing up here, but that, that doesn't look like somebody from the past at all. Eight of Swords, not with that page of, of Wands. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Or you're stuck in the past. That's why in this, you're blindfolded. Like you feel like you can't move forward. You're going to weigh your options with the Seven of Cups. Four of Cups. Why is this here? You feel like you stuck with you stuck on somebody from the past Aries. You're looking at your options. Why is the four of cups here? Four of cups talks about missed opportunities. That hit my chest, so that's upright. You you feel like this person, you feel like this person may be too young for you. You know, like you already know how this is going to end. You may feel like they're not good enough for you. They're not financially stable or something. You know the truth of the matter, though, with the high priestess. Scorpio energy at the bottom. This is going to cause you some inner turmoil. Okay. The chariot. Why is this here? Why is the chariot here? That cancer energy. Who's moving? Why is the chariot here? Okay, you're, you're, you're moving and you're moving in silence with that emperor. Let me get one more card, please. You're not telling anybody you're moving. You're just moving. Yeah, because you want a whole new beginning. So this looks like physically moving to me. And you're not telling anyone. 
you want a brand new passionate beginning, you might just be packing up and just leaving, moving to another state, another country, another city. You want a passionate new beginning, and, and, and you're going to make it happen. And you're praying for it. That's what you're praying for. What's at the bottom? Yeah, and you're putting the work in to do just that. I see you, Aries. Anything else for the Aries collector? Yeah, this offer that's coming in, you're like, um, you're too young for me, honey. Maybe they're just not mature enough. Look, and you're going to be abundant once you make that move. Once you make that move, you're going to be abundant. It's going to be a abundant uh, new beginning. Okay? Money's going to be great. You're not going to have anything to worry about. And universe is working on your behalf to make this happen. Relationship changes also. Good stuff. Oh. All right. Yeah. Just balance yourself. Maybe you're going to meet a, a king of cups. Someone that's balanced mentally. Okay. After meeting so many nuts, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where that came from. All right. Anything else for the Aries Collective? Or maybe you're being told to balance yourself. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Anything else for the Aries Collective before I close this out? Thank you. Anything else? All right. Yeah. It's causing you some stress. But like I said, like the card said, excuse me, I didn't say a thing. but Well, I did say, but you know what I mean. You're going to have an abundant new beginning. There's no reason to, to, to stress or worry, huh? At all. You're going to be fine. A brand, your brand new beginning awaits you. Okay? Good stuff. You're almost to your wish fulfillment. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. All right, Aries. That is you guys' weekly reading. Thank you so much for coming to Scorpio Tigers Tarot. You guys have a wonderful week. And if this isn't your energy... This is a playlist with all the Aries readings that I've ever done. And this is the last reading I've done. I'm sure you'll find your energy somewhere in there. Check it out, okay? You guys take care. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.